So hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how to calibrate your Polar Finder scope uh, which is incorporated in the rectoscension axis of the, the mount. The first thing to do is to lower the rectoscension axis. Uh, lower it horizontally. So right now the uh, Polar Finder scope looks towards the horizon. The second thing to do is to find a distant object that you can easily distinguish in the distance like this electric pole in the distance. Uh, the next step to do is to place the cross on the top of that distant object. So if your polar finder scope is calibrated it should look like this. Turning the rect extension axis you can see the whole thing turns itself and uh, the cross stays on the top of the electric pole. This happens when the optical axis of the polar finder scope is uh, in the same line as the rotation axis of the uh, mount. So, how to do this? You can see on the housing of uh, the uh, polar finder scope that little screw. There are three screws. Uh, which are holding the reticle in place. There you can see the reticle. Sometimes it's, it's uh, that uh, little shiny piece of glass. It's held in place by those three screws. So by adjusting the screws you can move the reticle in uh, any direction you want. So theoretically, here is what we have to do. In the first figure you can see the reticule, the cross inside it and the object which is centered in. The arrow marks the initial direction in which the rect ascension axis is set. The first step is to turn the rect ascension axis 180 degrees, so in the opposite direction, as the second figure's arrow shows it can see there. Right now you can observe that the object has moved away from the cross indicating that the polar alignment scope is not in the correct position. Mark the uh, distance and the direction of this movement and divide it, this distance, into two sections. One half of this initial section marks the magnitude of our error. So from adjusting the screws you can place the cross one half of the way that the object has traveled. So you must put the cross literally in the middle of this section, counterbalancing our error. So, it should look like this after you have um, aligned the uh, mount again. Turn the axis uh, 180 degrees again and you will see if the error was corrected. If not, repeat this maneuver again and again until the error is gone. So when you have finished uh, this adjustment you should see this. So looking inside the scope you can see the cross set on the distant object over there. And uh, however you may turn your uh, mount's rect ascension axis, that cross must stay on the top of the distant object. So you can see the position right now of the hour axis and the position of the cross. Turn it all the way and it stays over there. So right now the optical axis of the finder scope 
is in the same line as the rotation axis of the rect ascension axis. <laughs> so right now your uh, polar finder scope is pretty much calibrated and it is ready to use. It's a very useful device. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.